couple of people. Um, first of all, our staff uh, for helping navigate uh, a very different, at times difficult season with everything that we had to go through, both COVID related and, and non COVID related. Uh, they were tremendous throughout the year, uh, like we were always prepared to play. You know, they made sure that these kids had the best chance possible to win a game. I'd also like to thank uh, James Downer, the AD, for his leadership and guidance. Boy, talk about uh, being thrown to the fire. Um, first time uh, here in Loretto as the AD, and he's got to deal with the pandemic. And you know, his leadership, along with the leadership of our pandemic team here on campus, to allow us to play 22 games and get an entire conference season in is a credit to, to those people and their leadership and their guidance. <clears throat> to Dan Henry, for what he did, you know, in his four years here at St. Francis, credit to his character, his work ethic, great family. Just, you know, he's going to be successful because of who he is as a person and what he's been able to accomplish here in Loretto. His message to the team after the game tonight was nothing short of spectacular. Very impressive for a young man to speak um, after a very emotional game in, in the manner that he did. You know, and to Denzel, our manager for two years, I've never seen him have a bad day. His passion and energy is contagious, and we will certainly miss him. Uh, you know, that's it, certainly not the ending that we wanted. Came in uh, shorthanded, you know, down down Ramir, um, and, and obviously Max. And our guys battled for 45 minutes. And I think we just ran out a little bit of gas. And uh, I'll give Mount St. Mary's credit; they came back and you know, did well. You know, played well in overtime, and the shot at the uh, end of regulation to, to send it into overtime. So kids, uh, kids, a talented player, and he made a big time shot. But again, I'm proud of this group. I'm proud of the way they navigated an entire year. Uh, and, and did it with class, did it with great effort. It's, it's a very close team. And I told the guys at the end, you know, at the end, one of the things I wanted them to understand, you know, I, I read them a, a Bible verse that um, it's from Galatians. So let us not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we'll reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. And these kids did not give up. Sometimes in life, you do everything you're supposed to and um, you fall short. But, you know, we're, we're, I'm proud of the way these guys battled. I'm proud of the way they practice. It was certainly a disappointing end of the season, but I'm anxious to see how we respond moving forward. Um, but again, thank you to the seniors. Thank you to the people at St. Francis here, to James, you know, in our athletic department for their leadership, uh, our pandemic team here on campus to put us in a position to, to play basketball, you know, and, and to do it in a way where at the end of the year, our guys are healthy, they're safe, and they got to compete. And, uh, you know, I'm proud of Miles and Ramir, their leadership as captains this year. Uh, first year captains, first time captains. And, and again, in the middle of a pandemic. And uh, I'm proud of the way that they led a young group and a, and a pretty inexperienced group throughout the course of the season and, and conducted themselves in a, uh, a very upper class type way. And they'll be better. They'll be better people because of this experience. And, uh, certainly, uh, again, a tough way to finish the season, but I'm proud of the way our guys competed. Questions, Rob? Uh, what's uh, you know what's going to be the focus uh, as, as far as moving ahead? What does this team have to get better at next year beyond just being you know more experienced? Where is there any particular area that you feel uh, you really have to improve at to turn to turn things around? So we'll take a look at that. It's a good question, but we'll take a look at that tomorrow. I mean, we'll take a look at that in the coming days. You know, it's just you know I think there are a lot of it. We all have room to improve. Me. You know, the, the, the player, we all have, we all have rooms to, areas to improve upon. We'll, we'll navigate those here in the next couple of days and in the coming weeks. So, so there, there's, there's nothing that's even been going through the season that you thought has been uh, a consistent thing through throughout the losses and the hard times that, that you have to get better at? Yeah, I mean, there's certain things throughout a go. Free throws tonight, you know, um, you know, shooting, you know, one night. Uh, you know, rebounding one night. I mean, there are a lot of things. The, the 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 big thing for our guys is just details, attention to detail. But I'm glad we got to play 22 games because we have a body of work now, and, and we understand that you know to win a basketball game and to win a college basketball game is very challenging. 
and those details matter. But in terms of specifics, we'll, we'll sit down as a staff and put our heads together and come up with a plan moving forward. What, what about as far as uh, as the roster, you know, moving forward? What's the situation as far as the NCAA with the scholarships, uh, with the guys allowed to come back? You know, is, is it still going to be like a, a, a 13? Is it a 13 scholarship limit, or is that going to be still be talked about next year? Do you have room to bring other guys on board? Where, where do things stand in that regard? It's, it's a you – no, know, we have a 13 scholarship limit, but the NCAA has – you know, some things that, you know, institutionally there's some issues that can be addressed to, to continue recruiting, but we're going to have 13 scholarship kids next year. Rob, what was the situation with Ramirez? Can you give any information on that? Yeah, he got hurt against Wagner. Um, I'll just call it a uh, an upper extremity injury. And it was something that, you know, he played almost the entire game and got out of the game and was in some pretty severe pain for a couple of days. And Gave it a gave it a try last night in practice, and you know he felt okay, but it just the, the type of injury that it was not well enough to, to to get out there and play in a game like this. And I you know I certainly give him credit for making you know making that decision, but he wasn't he wasn't even close to 100. When you when, when this when this is the last game of the season, and you're up 10, and I mean it's different to lose the last game versus every other game. Yeah. How much does this sting? just because of the way you lost this. And now this loss has to sit with you for eight months. Yeah, it certainly stings. But again, I think it's something that we can use as motivation. You know, it's something that we can talk about as a group and use it as motivation. And we have their attention, you know, in certain situations. So it certainly stings. You know, if you lost by, you know, 50 or, you know, lose by five, I mean, to, to finish the season with a loss is – uh you know, it was disappointing, especially I thought we played well enough to win, you know, for 39 minutes and, you know, 52 seconds, you know, and sometimes you just come up short. But it is disappointing, Corey, but it's something that we'll use as motivation moving forward. Anything else for Rob? Yeah, I have one more. Um, a couple of minutes ago, you said you're anxious to see what it is going forward. Uh, I don't mean to be a dictionary or semantic here. Anxious or eager. Anxious is a little nervous. Eager is excited. I'm, I'm just curious specifically because I, I can see some anxiety with this team not necessarily knowing how it'll go. Are, are you anxious or are you eager? Eager. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, eager, excited, anxious. I mean, it was, you know, I didn't use it in a nervous. I'm, I like to see how guys respond through tough situations because that's, that's how you grow. You know, it's, you know, give these guys a couple of days to catch their breath. They've been through a lot. And then we get back and, you know, pick some areas individually that we can improve on. Because now now it's about individual improvement. we got to get these guys better. And I know our staff will do a tremendous job with that. We've got a great strength coach and a great trainer. So, I, I you know, I enjoy, this, yeah, I enjoy moments like this. Because as I told the team, you're not going to win every game. And you're not going to win everything when you get out in life. So how do you respond when things don't go your way? And I like to see how kids grow in those circumstances. And uh, I am eager to see the next step. Thanks, Rob. No problem. All right.